Hello, welcome to New Toon News. We're going to be talking about uh, our predictions for the, the new Powerpuff Girls cartoon. It's going to be airing this Monday at, on April 4th. So we're going to be just talking about what we want to see from this cartoon, what we don't want to see from car this cartoon, and and just discuss what we've seen so far in previews. Yeah. So let's get into it. I'm Christy. I'm Chris. And I'm a rowdy rough boy. <laughs> that is very true. Yeah. What do you want to see... Uh, what do you want to see uh, in this in the new show? Okay, so I'm gonna be honest. I don't know how I feel about this reboot uh, so far, but at the same time, uh, the things I would like to see, I would like to see just the girls kicking butt because that was in. I don't want to be like, oh, the original was better. I just definitely want to see them being the same kind of crime fighters they were. Uh, I want to. I want some action. I want. I definitely want some. Um, I don't know. I, I'm just really craving a good action cartoon, so it's like I really hope that they go in a more of an action route rather than a comedic route. That's my main, I guess, my main like want from this cartoon. I can see that because uh, even the old ones had a, had a weird um uh, had that weird comedy like the adult humor. Oh like, yeah. Oh, that with the little girls like that I was, was an accident too. The Pop of Girls, you know, definitely had a good balance between <laughs> the action and the comedy, and so like that's what I really want to see. I want to see a good balance of action and comedy. I like, want I want two things. And we'll get to the second one later. Okay. Uh, so I want to see. Um, I want. I, I want them to be able to. Um, okay. I don't want. Oh, I want the characters to kind of still be kind of who they were and mm -hmm. not be caricatures of themselves. Like I don't want Buttercup to be like super battle ready. Um, you know, army sergeant girl. But I also. But I also don't want you know Blossom to be like you know a walking dictionary. <laughs> um, but I want uh, to. If they keep things along a similar line, what they had. Mm -hmm. uh, and they allow themselves to kind of maybe transition into the new stuff without trying to emulate the new stuff. Like, I don't mm -hmm. want... I or don't... emulate the, new, the old stuff? Uh, no, no, no. Emulate, uh. emulate the new animation style. Like, oh, I, okay. as long as they, as long as they, the humor in, extends into, like, you know, kind of quirp, uh, quips and, like, um, whatnot and not into a goofy, funny, like, Teen Titans Go style. Ugh, yeah. uh, okay, I'll, I, will be, I will be happy. Um, uh, what do you not want to see? What do you not? I do not want to see this go the route of Teen Titans Go. Yeah. Because as... I'm going to be brutally honest. I hate Teen Titans Go. I don't like it. It, You know, the humor in it is just god-awful. Uh, and even though they yeah. made fun of themselves in that light, it still doesn't make it a good show. Uh, yeah, I just like the fa I just like the fact that it... Not only is it epi not Not There's only no is it episodic... Ep and that's my biggest fear. Sorry, sorry. No problem. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but that that's like my biggest gripe. In Teen Titans Go, there's no weight to any episode. Yeah, they're, they're That's episodic. my biggest fear, that the Powerpuff Girls, it's going to go a more comedic route. There's not going to be any weight to any of the things they do. Because they're superheroes, they're going to be fighting crime. And a lot of, of the original episodes, you know, they ha they they balance some comedic, com comedic stuff with some more, like, serious stuff. And they did a great job of that. My main fear is that if they choose to go to a more comedic route, they're, the characters are just not going to be that either that likable or they're just not going to be that relatable, or I'm just not going to care what the hell they do. Yeah, and and what do we mean by uh, there? There's no way to it. Um, in each episode of Teen Titans Go, and even to even to a point, The Simpsons and uh, and Family Guy, uh, what happens that they can, the the world can be destroyed. Uh, one episode, and at the beginning of the next episode, they're just sitting in, in like their their house or the t or the tower, and like nothing's changed. Though there is no, if there, anything big happens, nothing changes the world. Exactly, and Teen Titans world. is very guilty of that. They've had at least four to five episodes where the characters literally die. Yes, and of course they do that with for comedic purposes, but at the same time, it's like. Okay, I don't yeah. really care that they've died. <laughs> yeah, and and that's one you know, I, I would hate this. Like they because it's more comedic, it's not meant to be taken seriously. But at the same time, it's like I don't care about these characters because they're very one dimensional. Mm -hmm. Say whatever. Okay. Uh, at the same time, it's like from what I've seen so far in previews, it definitely looks like they're they're. It's going to be maybe a little more com uh, a little more com uh, comedic in this time around. Which which, which is fine, mm -hmm. but at the same time. I laughed at none of the jokes. Like, it just... There's not really anything... Like... You know, the, because this is a reboot, they need something more than just the familiarity of the characters. Like, we know these characters, but at the same time, 
just because we know these characters doesn't mean we're going to immediately love them. Yeah, well, and this brings up my, my issue with anything involving previews or snippets. Uh, everything from, like, from this to uh, the Spider-Man being in... Um, Spider-Man being in, like, the new uh, Civil War trailer. It's like, it... We, since we don't know, there is not... There's no context behind these jokes. The joke could be... Could have, have a build-up... And that could be the most hilarious thing. And they decided, you know, well, I'm going to put it in the trailer. But out of context, it makes no sense. One one preview in particular that I was just kind of like, okay, um, that happened, was there's a preview where Buttercup, they're in school, they're eating in the cafeteria. Buttercup is, uh, or yeah, Buttercup is uh, saying like, oh, this is why they call me Air Buttercup. And she attempts to throw a paper ball into the trash can. And the joke is she keeps missing and missing and missing. And she gets more destructive as the joke goes on. And, um, and Bubbles is in the background, you know, just commentating. She's acting like a news reporter saying, like, oh, that's going to hurt their score later on. And I just don't... Well, they also did some, they also did some of the things that in the old episodes. Well, that's what I just don't want to... I, I don't want to see. It's, like, the humor that just dwells to the bottom of the barrel and, like, easy humor. It, it doesn't look like it's going to be bottom of the barrel humor. It definitely doesn't look like that. But at the same time, it's, like, I don't see no... St- I don't really see any strength in these jokes. Like, there's no... Nah, you, like, at the same time, they're just kind of like, oh, okay, like, nothing is really that strong so far we've seen from the previews. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to have to see come Monday what, yeah. what's gonna, what's, how it's going to work. And um, uh, one more thing that we, we can get into real quick. Um, I promise not to make this into a big thing or anything, but um, from the art style, like, definitely they're going with the noodle S art style with the thin line art uh, again. Um, very common to what we see nowadays. Um, a lot of people pointed this out. Background characters are hella distracting. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that's me. Chris doesn't really agree because uh, he... No, okay. Yeah. So so here's my stance on that. Uh, I saw the character that they tend to point out. Um, and it's... I think it was during the, uh, the Buttercup where she's fighting the she's, lumberjack. She's fighting the short little lumberjack yeah, character. Yeah, the, the Yosemite Sam dude. Um, mm. So... Maybe or like maybe it's because I'm used to characters from like One Piece and like uh like crap ton of manga where the world is not just all the same. Even shows like Garage Band that were recently they still had all those weird designs. People keep mentioning that this guy was in the background was like so distracting and he's gonna destroy the the, the whole flow of the thing. I didn't even notice the guy. In my opinion, I do find the background characters distracting because in the original cartoon back then they um, what they did was to make the Powerpuff Girls stand out because they were very round and ovalish and very cutesy looking, they decided to make the background characters sharp, angular, and pointed to contrast with the girls to make sure they, they make sure their background, uh, their, um, their main characters popped out. But at the same time, because they're deciding to go with the more, this more roundish, uh, circular shape they go on nowadays, the girls look very jarring against some of these background characters and it to the point where they kind of blend in a little too much and like some of the designs of the background characters especially in that one scene right now this is just our predictions we're, we're definitely going to be doing a full uh, review of this once the once the cartoon airs so just don't take any of this to heart we're def- uh, this is just our our hopes and take take all yeah. of it to heart flame us if we're, no. we're wrong and no. we'll still love you We'll shed a single tear. But yeah, you guys are welcome to share any of your predictions or what you hope from the show or what you don't want from the show, and we'll and we're we're we will be doing another review once it airs. All right. Well, guys, we shall see you later. This has been Chris. This has been Christy. And this has been New Tune News. Bye. Later.